In this video, I'm going to share the best process for installing the latest AMD graphics drivers for your Lenovo Legion Go, which include AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1, a brand new update for AMD's frame generation technology, and I'll be guiding us step by step on how to uninstall our existing drivers and install the new ones alongside blocking Windows from updating over them for good. So before we get started, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. From our Windows desktop, let's open our web browser. We want to come over to Display Driver Uninstaller. Let's open this, scroll down, choose one of the mirrors and download this to our Downloads folder. Afterwards, we want to search for AMD Driver and go onto the main official website. Let's scroll down and we want to choose Processors. Ryzen we want to choose Ryzen 7000 series and here we need to choose AMD Ryzen 7 7840U from the list. Press submit, choose Windows 11, we need to choose AMD software Adrenaline 25.3.1 772 megabytes. Download this to your downloads folder and in our downloads folder we want to right click by holding press on the DDU zip and choose extract all and extract. Once that's done, choose this DDU 7 zip on the folder that appears, press extract and we'll have this folder ready with display driver uninstaller. For now, let's close these windows. Next, we need to go into safe mode to run display driver uninstaller. But before doing this, if you have BitLocker enabled on your drive, you need to disable this before proceeding through decrypting the drive, otherwise you may be locked out. So please do this before proceeding. And next we need to hold press on the start menu, choose run and type msconfig in the prompt like so. And press enter. And on the window that appears, let's choose the boot tab, select safe boot, make sure minimal is selected press apply, OK, hold press again on the start menu and let's press restart. And when we load into safe mode we'll notice that everything is portrait. So let's hold press on the desktop and choose display settings and we'll change our display orientation from portrait to landscape flipped. Press keep changes and close the window. Now let's hold press on the start menu again and choose run and run MS config again. Go on the boot tab and uncheck safe boot otherwise when we restart we'll come back into safe mode so make sure that this is unchecked. Press apply and OK and in our downloads folder let's go inside the DDU folder that we extracted and go inside the second DDU folder and we want to run display driver on installer. Once DDU loads for the first time, we want to go ahead and press OK on this box that appears. We want to scroll down and make sure the prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update is checked like so. So let's close this and for device type, we want to choose GPU and choose clean and restart. Now DDU will thoroughly clean the drivers off your Legion Go and then restart into Windows normally afterwards. Once we're back in Windows again, we'll see that everything's portrait. So let's hold press on the desktop and choose display settings. And here, for display orientation, change from portrait to landscape flipped. Choose keep changes and close the window. Next, we want to open our web browser again. And we want to come over to the media file link I have placed in the description for this program called Woo Show Hide, which stands for Windows Updates Show Hide. Download this to your Downloads folder and inside our Downloads folder let's go ahead and run Woo Show Hide. Here we want to press Next and once completed let's choose Hide Updates and we're going to see Advanced Micro Devices including Display. So let's choose this and we want to press Next and this is going to block Windows from ever updating our driver again. And once complete, we'll get a confirmation message that the troubleshooting has completed. So we can go ahead 
and press close. And from this point, we want to run the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. We'll see the installation start like so, and we'll get a box appear that will then populate all of the driver's files into our C drive. And once completed, you'll see the installation fail, which is what we want. And we want to drag up like this and press close. And when we go to this PC and our C drive, we'll see an AMD folder like so. But for now, let's minimize. Hold press on the start menu, go into device manager, and inside device manager, we'll see display adapters. We want to select this. We want to hold press on Microsoft Basic Display Adapter and choose Update Driver, followed by Browse My Computer for Drivers. Let me pick from a list of available drivers, choose Have Disk, and we want to choose Browse. Let's go to this PC, go to our C drive, AMD, AMD Software Installer, Packages, Drivers, Display, WT6AINF, and we want to choose this numbered.inf file at the bottom. Press open, press OK, and we'll get a list of models appear, which we want to scroll down until we find Radeon TM 780M graphics. So choose this one and press next, followed by yes. The drivers should take around one to two minutes to complete, and once finished, you'll get a successful message appear. We can go ahead and press close, and we'll see AMD Radeon TM 780M graphics, and we can right click by holding press, go properties, go on the driver tab, and we'll see the 25th of February 2025, and the driver version. Let's press OK, and close device manager, go back to our C drive, and from here we need to install Adrenaline. So let's go inside the AMD folder, AMD Software Installer, go inside Packages, Drivers, Display, WT6AINF, and then we want to go inside this folder, B413137. And now we need to scroll down to the letter C, and we'll find triple C to install. Let's double click on this file. And now Adrenaline will install to our Legion Go. Once the installation is complete, let's go ahead and press close on the window. And then when we go onto our start menu, we'll see AMD settings on our recommended. And if you don't see this, just go on all and you'll see AMD settings. So select this to load Adrenaline. And once we load for the first time, we'll see AMD Adrenaline appear. Let's choose skip this, and we can see 25.3.1 is our current version. And when we go onto the gaming tab and graphics, we can see AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 is now available, and we can select this and change our search mode to high and performance mode to auto, quality, or performance, depending on our preference. And we also have Radeon Boost, Chill, Image Sharpening, and much more. Now let's say we want to set a hotkey for AFMF 2.1 for in our games. Let's go on the cog symbol in Adrenaline. And then we can go on the hotkeys tab. And when we scroll down, we'll see toggle AFMF 2.1 with Alt, Shift and G. So let's press Legion L to bring up Legion Space. And once loaded, let's go on the controllers tab. And here, let's choose button mapping and then choose View Edit Layout, followed by Rear View. Now in here, we can assign Alt, Shift and G to any one of these buttons. And I'm gonna choose Y3, and I'm gonna choose Key Combinations, and I'm gonna assign this Left Alt, Shift and G, like so. Choosing Y to confirm the command, and we'll see Left Alt, Shift, and G assigned like so. And when my game of Elden Ring loads, I'm gonna press the Legion R button to bring up the quick access menu. And then I'm gonna select frame monitor from the general tab to bring up our FPS counter, which is working without AFMF applied. But when I press Y3, 
to activate AFMF 2.1, we'll see AFMF 2.1 is now active. And once activated, we can see that my FPS has now gone up to around 90 FPS due to AFMF 2.1 being active via the hotkey. So I hope this guide helped you with getting AFMF 2.1 installed on your Legion Go as quickly as possible. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try my best to get back to you. If you learned something new today, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another, and I'll see you later.